Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for the Farm Girl Vintage 2 quilt by Lori Holt. Buckle up, buttercup, because this one's going to be a doozy. Today we are making the Happy Horse Block. I have been so excited for this block. I can't wait to do it. It took me a hot minute to cut everything, but I got it ready to go. Thank goodness. She did this as a 12-inch block because I'm just following her lead. Um, she gives instructions for 6.5-inch blocks and 12.5-inch blocks. So you can do it whatever way you choose. Um, to start off, I'm going to make the horse blanket first, even though that's like one of the last steps. Because I've got all of my blocks arranged how I want them. And I pulled all of these out of my one and a half inch block stash. I've got them all laid out over here. You probably can't see them all. Let me scoot them over. Anyway, I got them laid out how I want them. So I'm going to start with these so they don't get mixed up. It's 20 various squares. This is where stash boxes really come in helpful. Okay, so basically we're just show, um, sewing all these blocks together. You think this would be the easiest part, but it's actually not too easy to have these line up all perfectly. Believe it or not, this can be tricky if your seams aren't all just perfect. No man, please listen. You don't know what you're missing. No woman, the world is at your command. Table's kind of crooked. Sitting in his nowhere land. Since this is from my stash box, not all of these fabrics are Lori Holt. Most of them are, because I pulled from the one that's right here at my at my knees, my, on my table. Ninety-five percent, or ninety-nine percent, are. Which, that doesn't matter. Her fabric's so scrappy, you can do that. You can mix it up, baby. Doesn't have a point of view. Knows not where he's going to. No man. Doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. No man, please listen. All right, let me iron these. I'll see if I can kind of put them back where they go. I always get so turned around on this, and I end up putting, putting two colors together that don't go together. I can't ever keep track of it. No man, please listen. See, I'm already messing up. You don't know what you're messing. Let's see if I can make some. I took. I should have took a picture of it. That's what I should have done. I 
Now I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Cause I can't remember a dying thing. That's what threw me off, okay. I think that still looks all right. This will get easier to keep straight. One, two, three. First line, second line, third line. I predict this block's gonna be super cute. I hope. First row, maybe, I've already forgotten. And this is the first row. together. Little horse quilt for under the saddle. to sew. We'll do family game night on Sunday like we did last week. Get my 
seems properly nested. Yeah, so this <laughs> isn't lining up perfect, but pretty near close. Part near, part near close. Oh, the bottom two, we're gonna be snowballing the corners. But I'll have to wait until it comes up from the needle and then we'll do that. All right, now let's start at the beginning. Okay, P and J, which is a background. There's J. This had a lot of cutting. This was all the way through the alphabet and to the double alphabeties, all the way till double H. He is the horse color, I think. Maybe. Yes. P is our horse color. Okay, we're half square triangle in this block. So I'm gonna sew right down the middle. Finish our horse blanket now. How good my machine sounds, y'all. I'm so happy about it. She was she was sounding pretty rough there for a while. Yeah. Done with the PJ block. Set that to the side. And we're moving on to oh. Oh, we're going to use that? Oh, oh. This is different. Just one. Okay. How's this supposed to look when you open it up? Okay. We're actually snowballing the half square triangle square onto this. This is different. No, this is different. I don't think I've ever done this before. My horse blanket looks odd. Adorable. Adorable. Now we can snowball. Each bottom corner. Could you imagine doing this in a six inch block? Lord have mercy. That would just be sadistic. This is tiny enough, and this is for the 12 inch. Okay, so when I cut that, it's going to fold up like that. Okay. 
Okay. See it? Now I'm gonna snowball. What is that little letter? What the heck is that? An L? Pictures are so little, I can't even make it out. Hey, Stella. What time is it? Eight. Eight? It'd be pretty late to start a family game night at 8 p.m. I don't. Exactly. So you, we have two hours. It usually lasts like one hour. Quick games. What? Quick games. Seems like we just had family game night like two days ago. Go set it up. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to have to come back. Stella's fiending for some family game night. Make no difference to you because the video will go on. good stopping point BRB all right I have returned victorious I am the champion of family game night aren't I Stella okay set this guy to the side next oh we have to do a P and V Half square triangle. What is V? V is something a main or something. Here you are. There you are. Okay, half square triangle. blanket is officially complete. Complete. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I just really love a square scrappy quilt like this. My, one of my favorite kinds of quilts is just old school square scrappy. Okay, we'll set that to the side. I have to wait till that's off to do this. So we'll go on again to BB. This is the little horse's stripe down its nose. And A, A is what we're mixing it with. This we're gonna sew this corner to this corner. Victorious! I'm the Uno champion of the world. We also played that game I got in my mystery bag of awesome. Um, that you or me game. 
Stella really liked it. It was fun. Okay, we're going to take our half square triangle and do the same like we did in the other one. So corner to corner. Oh, we've been making his little old ears and stuff. So we take this one. Oh no. Why is it so short? Did I cut this? Did I cut that too short? What's happened? Oh, there's a square yet to it. She just totally skipped that. Of course, I only look at pictures, I don't read instructions. I'm sure she wrote it, but ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, we're sewing another double A square on the top of this. These are some unique piecings. Definitely some unique piecings. There's that side. All right, I gotta wait for that to come under the needle, so I'm gonna carry on. Y and T. is a dark brown. Another snowball, y'all. That's some stringy fabric. can't stop thinking about how tiny these pieces have to be on that six inch. Okay, here's that. Make one. We're also going to do W and another T snowball. I think these T blocks are like an inch. Just like the last. I got our nose piece over here get impressed. Press to impress.
The dark brown is the horse body. The light brown is like the hair and the tail and stuff like that. All right, make one of those. Um, wait, why? Oh, I forgot X. I skipped X. Okay, same thing. This is like the hair on his little old head. You'll see. You'll see. Hope I did this right. his head see there's his ears now she calls for two buttons on this block of course you wouldn't sew your buttons on until after it's been quilted if you're machine quilting it if you're hand quilting it I guess you can put it on whenever but two buttons for his eyes there's his head can't really tell it yet but you will Okay, to these, um, okay, short to long, short to long, the medium was under the needle because I accidentally skipped it. Okay, we're going to sew on R, S, and T. S on the middle one. R. On the shortest one. And, oh, another little old T block on the longest one. Go ahead and get this ironed and do it next so I don't get confused. And they should end up all the same size. scant. All right, I'm going to move on. G and P. G. What the heck? G. Sorry, there's so many pieces. We're going to snowball each side of this. I can start putting them together. 
short, medium, long, just like that. This is gonna be a block with a whole lot of semen going on. Dang it, I'm gonna have to finger press this. My iron will not behave. There. This is like horses and bangs. Does not look like my block. How big was G supposed to be? One and a half by three. And how big are P's supposed to be? One and a half inch square. Yeah, my block does not look like hers and the book has a like a, I'd say half an inch or space. So that's weird. But all my sizing's right. Weird. Oh well. I think it just doesn't look like it's supposed to look like in the picture. I think the picture's wrong. Not me. Never. Never. And that's a big old seam. I'm gonna probably try to do that open because that's a huge lump. I'm gonna iron this open, this seam open. Bear with me a second. Gotta press it open. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Love you, Stella. together now. Okay, next. Sissy. With snowball tees on each corner, top corners. 
Oh, no. Wait. Oh, okay. Brown on the top corners, and we're going to do some backgrounds on the bottom corners. What is this? I can't remember what this gray is. I think this is his nose. If I'm remembering correctly. Finish putting his ears on. Now, after I sew it, it will have a little gap there. I think that's where the picture went awry. Hopefully, I don't break a needle on all these seams. Seams? Seams. the last two L's on the bottom of that, so what's next? Ooh, let's start making the bucket. E, E. Double F. M. Double D. This is little old. I think it's his feed bucket. Yeah, now there's a gap. So, don't get discouraged if you say that too, because it worked out perfect. The picture is just wrong on the instructions. He is really, I can see the horse head coming to life. Okay, on the bottom of this gray, Snowball, some background pieces. kind of wonky. Sorry about that. Sorry about it. Y'all, I wonder if y'all watched that um, Cotton Cuts live that we did. It was, um, it was their live. I just popped in to share my completed puzzle mystery quilt, the Miracoli. 
It's the first time I've gone on someone's live like that and I was a nervous wreck. If y'all watch that, tell me if you could tell that I was just like <gasps> frozen like stage. And I don't know why. I just, because I, I guess I never do lives. So yeah, I was pretty ner nervous. They posted their live on their Facebook page, on the their main page, Cotton Cuts. Not the group, but their regular page. Y'all watch that and laugh at me. Tell me if you could tell. Y'all probably could because you know um, how I usually am in videos and then how I was in their videos. Like, <laughs> a deer in the headlights. It was like a deer in the headlights. Oh my gosh, I just do not do doing loves. It's totally out of my comfort zone. Ooh, that, that feels like, sounds like it needs to be oiled or something, doesn't it? Anyway, they're super sweet over at Cotton Cuts, and I was, of course I didn't, wasn't required to do that. They asked me if I wanted to, and I said, sure. I'm sure if I do more of them, I won't be so nervous all the time, but oh my gosh, they're probably like, who is this crazy woman? Okay, this is supposed to be two by two, and it's like a little wonky, so I'm going to see if I can't clean it up some. is this thing? Let's find out. We're adding more pieces to it. Okay, we're going to add K and D. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his nose. the bucket right now set it to the side and we're gonna take H H the heck is H H it's blue oh they're having me do the horse blanket I already did that okay a Sn freaking snowballs <laughs> Again, snowball tees and the, this is the last two though, so yay, last of my tees, snowball on the top corners.
we've got his nose, we're going to attach C to the bottom. Our knees, our knees up. Sit it to the side. And we're going to take in We've got a couple of these, but we only need one right now. And guess what we're doing to it? Back to the nose, snowball. <laughs> this time it's a big one though, M. In this corner. Oh, this is legs. These are his, these are his legs. Oh, little fritters. Where's these pieces? Z. Here they are. His hooves. other end. to the side again. I wonder when I'm going to use this other AA. I don't see it at all. I was only supposed to make one AA. Four one inch squares. Maybe I had five. That's weird. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found it. It's on the corner of this B block. Is 
other leg. Okay, now we're gonna get you. And you're snowballing. This piece here. I think this is his tail. This piece to the side. I need to put that on there, but I'm not to it yet. We get to start assembling. Okay. Let's see. We've got to do the blanket piece. Blanket. What the heck is that? Q. We're almost to the finish line, folks. You can always tell because I'm still sewing really fast. When I'm close to the end, I get excited. this and this one this corner to this corner now I can attach the saddle blanket to this Oh, we're going to put H block on each end of this. On the top and on the bottom. Now we can put his legs on this leg with the snowball goes on this side and the no non snowball one goes on the other. I was thinking, dang, these are some long legs, but um, this part of it's his body.
probably gonna get today one block tonight. It's getting late. I had a crazy busy day. I did that live for cotton cuts. And I also had to be up at the community center pool today for the lottery drawing to get to rent the pool for birthdays and whatnot. This is how they did it at our community center. You have to show up at like 8 a.m., put your name on a raffle ticket. If your name is drawn, you get to buy a pool rental. Yay, 300 bucks. For the kids, for the kids. But really, it's not bad. You get half of the pool, half of the community pool. Um, you can do the whole thing for 600 and there's no way. You get to invite 60 people with half the pool, so that's plenty. Anyway, I did that. That took me, what's this? I was there like two hours, I think, waiting for my name to be gone, and it finally was. And I actually got Stella's birthday date. Sam and Stella's birthdays are two days apart. So we get to combine parties. Yay. But anyway, I did that. And then I had to do the Five Fit Fun Choice. Today's Friday, by the way. I won't be posting this on Friday. but. And then I had that live. And then I had to do a bunch of unboxings. And then I had to do supper, and then I started sewing, and then y'all heard Stella wanted to do family game, and I saw I did family game. It's been crazy. I've been doing, going nonstop all day. Okay, let's start putting the head together. Here's our headpiece. This one. Yeah, today's my day off. It certainly did not feel like a day off. It did not feel like a day off. I've got a little uneven piece here. Um, I'm going slow to make sure I catch the edge because there is a gap. But fake it till you make it. I just covered it up. I probably felt like I was busier than I was just because I was nervous about doing that live. You know what I mean? This is my little quilt on the side block. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I didn't have it ironed. Ooh, look, he's coming together. Now we're going to sew. Oh, we can't do that yet. What am I oh, I gotta put something on top here. This, this block. Anyway, with the pool rental for the birthdays, most places charge about 200, 250 for parties and you only get like 10 people. So really it is a bad deal at all. And it's a fabulous water park. So it's just you and another party if you split it. And then they can invite bukus of people. Put our bucket on, our feed bucket. This one has embroidery too for the, the bucket handle. Embroidery and buttons on this block.
they're going to be, their birthdays are June 18 and June 20. And they're going to be 12 and 17. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. Now we can put her blondie little tail on. That's on my eye. An eyelash or something. Down to the wire. Don't have any more pieces to chain piece anymore. So I'm gonna use my quilt on the side. I think this would be quite an impressive block. Let's see, how long has it been? 45 since I came back from family game night. I figured this was gonna be at least an hour block. Looks like I was right. That's not including the cutting. It took me a while to cut this off, but... Some kind of creaking going on in there now. What is this? Did I run? Can you? <gasps> Out of bobbin. This close to finish. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the way it goes? Oh my gosh. This close. All right, let me change my bobbin. Okay, it's already under the needle. It was sounding weird, so I was trying to figure out. Okay, it sounds fine now. At first it was, something was wonky, but it's corrected itself. Now, now we can look at her. In all of her glory. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Get her ironed. even at the top but I probably just need to square her up so it'll be all right okay see her. oh 
Is it? What? That looks weird. Oh no! Oh no! Looky here. Why is she a blockhead? I forgot to snowball her. Ah! Man! And I didn't put the grass on. Oh my gosh. All right, let me put the grass on. No. What the heck? That's what I get for getting too excited. Jinx to myself. Oh my gosh. I was thinking, why does she have a blockhead? I don't know how I miss that. I think my seam ripper's getting dull. I've been using this since like three, well, I'd say, I don't know, three or four years now since I first got it in a box. I think she's getting dull. I love this thing though. All right. I don't know why I'm putting you up. I still, still gonna have to rip. At least I caught it now and not, what the heck, this is my stiletto. Not when I'm putting the final block of the quilt together, right? She's definitely getting dull. Dang it. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Miss you. Yeah, miss you. Let's see how you do. It's actually just kind of hard to rip this, I guess, with all the seams. I need, a, I need to dust. Ooh. It's like a layer of fabric sleuth. Okay. Dang it. Can't iron straight. Stomach hurts. Ate too much pizza in buffet. All right, now we can put this snowball on. I don't know how in the world I missed this step. Say, stay. Now we can put his ears back on. That, that looks much, much better. Because I was getting too focused on his ears looking right.
Now, let's try this again. Oh my gosh. And then we still have to put the grass on after this. Now, we're back where we started. And I no, have, no longer have a blockhead horse. We put the grass on. I couldn't find my double H alphabet -y, so I just wrote on it. I don't know where that is. What the heck, why is it so long? 12 and a half inches. Oh, wow. I did not trim that at all. That is horribly the wrong size. Let me get it real quick. Hold, please. Hold, please. That's better. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it's right this time. Clean up. Clean up. That's better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so where's my pen? Self erase marker. I want something to stay a little bit longer than that. And my friction pen. bucket handle would just go like this I'm 
friction pan is not wanting to cooperate very well, is it? As you can tell, I'm a master artiste. <laughs> Yeah, and then his two little button eyes. Go there. That's cute. I love her. Y'all, I'm so impressed with myself right now. I am so full of myself right now. That looks awesome. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. So I'll see y'all at the next one.